Everyone, welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of AWS Summit here, Public Sector Summit here in Washington, D.C. I'm John Furrier, your host. We're live at a physical event, people face to face. We're here with theCUBE on the ground, back in business. Of course, we have the virtual CUBE, we got theCUBE Studios in Palo Alto and Boston. We're going to bring you all the great coverage. And our next guest is Carlo Casaneva. Casaneva, got it? Chief of Channels at Pega Systems, also known as Pega. Official title's head of global partner ecosystem, but you're known as the chief of channel. Absolutely. Thank you for coming on. Absolutely, nice to be here face to face in an event, it so feels, happy. Feels good, it feels great, people are happy. Um, still good attendance considering what it is, about five, 6,000 people roughly, give or take, maybe up to 7,000, who knows. Uh, but you guys have a really strong relationship with AWS. You're the chief of the channel, you guys have a great enabling product that crashes itself, as you guys say. Um, so let's get into it, but before, explain what Pega does. Okay, so Pega is a $1 billion company, it's a software company, and we call it that software builds itself, because we are definitely here to crush customer complexity. So we do it by three, doing three things, one-to-one -one customer engagement, customer, uh, customer service, and also intelligent automation. So we are a platform, and we are helping any single client that has a complex solution to make it simple and to have a good customer experience. So I got it wrong, it doesn't crash itself. It crashes, crashes complexity, complexity, it builds itself. Builds okay, it there exactly. it is. Exactly. All right, I got that out of the way. <laughs> Software that crashes itself actually doesn't really kind of, doesn't sound <laughs> like a, a compelling product, um, but it's not the case. So I got to ask you, so ecosystems are a big part of the cloud. Amazon has a great ecosystem, but the ecosystem has ecosystem. You're starting to see an expansion of the cloud business with the software model with cloud scale. What are you guys doing in the channel, within the public sector? How do you guys work? How do people engage with you? Okay, so first of all, we, uh, we were always a very friendly channel partner, but we were using our partners only for implementation. Because our, our product is so, so uh, built for each of the clients, there's a lot of services opportunity, and we have very strong PEGA practices in the different partners. But last year, when I came in, I, I came in almost 16 months ago, we decided that we wanted also to improve our, our sales with the partners. So we are engaging with partners end-to-end, -end, from the beginning of a sales cycle and brainstorming on what the client needs in order to be more efficient, to reduce cost, to the moment of the implementation. So we have been working with several uh, system integrators, some resellers, and with AWS as our cloud platform. So we have been moving everything we can to the Pega Cloud that is on AWS, and clients are are really happy to be modernizing there because there you have the security, the scalability, the new, the new versions of the product without having to be worrying about it because it's done by our support team. So it's software on Amazon, so customers can, they buy your software through the marketplace or whatever, through a partner or the marketplace, and then they can still use the higher level services at, in AWS, correct? They can use the high-end services in AWS or with any other partner system integrator that also works with AWS. And we have many cases where we, are, we, we use the power of three, right? We work with uh, AWS, Accenture, and, uh, and, and for example, uh, Pega. Or we can use uh, Lados or, uh, or Booz Allen or uh, Peraton, any of the partners that are here in government too. So you know the channel uh, equation, you're the chief of the channel, Channel, channels love simplicity, simple products to, to buy. They love products that can throw off gross profit. And you said services. How is that going? Are you guys seeing a good economic equation with your partners? Well, our partners do between five and 10X of, uh, of the revenue that we do on software on services. So that equation definitely works and they love it for that. Uh, at the same time, we have invested 5x the quantity of people that we have supporting the channel, for example, here in government. We have invested also two or three times on the rest of the, of the business, but there has been definitely uh, good investments for partners. The partners are happy with us because again, they, not only they can do a good business one-off, they can then radiate. When you 
usually clients, when they, once they buy Pega for one of their use cases or case management, as we call it, they usually want to replicate it in other cases. And that is where the partners are doing enormous money because they are replicating yeah. the same use case in different departments. That's the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed They're to be. They're touching the customer. They're adding value on top of your product. So they get to have the best of both worlds. High margins on the profits and the services, but yet work with the customer directly to engage and make sure they get the right solution from you and AWS together. Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. what are the key challenges that you find that partners need to solve and overcome to keep this, this, this equation going? What do you guys focus on? You mentioned more people. What are some of the trends in the public cloud, I mean public sector area? What's the, some of the dynamics? So in, in this moment, the, the whole world is with a huge need of digital transformation. The, every single client, but especially in government, they had all digital transformation projects, but they were going at slow motion. Because of the situation of the pandemic, that I don't even want to name it again because everybody's talking about it, but it's a reality, these projects have to accelerate 10 times. So whatever it was going to be done in five years is being done in one. So the biggest challenge that we are having is to ensure that we have that capacity to support all these projects that are being done very fast. And, uh, and, and for that, that's why we also need our partners, right? Because they, they have big pega practices, they have been investing as well as we are to ensure that we cover all those needs. And by, for now, we are doing well. And uh, so that's, uh, that's great. We are growing uh, as a company and with the partners. Carol, great to have you on board with the company now, kick, kicking some butt now in the channel, cheaper channel, good margins, happy customers, growth. What are some of the use case successes that you've had? Can you name a few customers and what they've done and what's their best practice? Well, we have, I will name some government because we are in a public sector event, but we have, and I will name North America, although we also have in the rest of the world. So US census, that is something that everybody has done, right? Even if you did it in your mobile, you did it on paper, you did it on the phone, all of that was managed by PEGA. And for the first time ever, there was zero down, downtime, not a single problem to access the web, for example. The, the US census took us 50% less expense than the one that we did in 2010, just because we use this digital approach. And then we also were 50% more efficient because we, needed, we didn't need to use all that paper storage that was used mm -hmm. in the past. So we taxpayers have to be happy because they really spend less than what they should have spent on this topic. <laughs> so definitely that was one of the biggest cases that we have in 2020. Uh, we have other, we do big, big projects like the US Census or we do smaller projects. And uh, there's one that, uh, that is not small, but that is smaller, that is the New Jersey courts that caught my attention because I, I imagine myself in a situation like that, that you are like by mistake taken to the court and you and they are they are, they are you have to defend yourself. That was taking three hours. And it's stressful, right? And you don't have to be there if you don't need to. And this process got to 20 minutes. That is also reduction on expenses, even jail expenses sometimes. So that was one that we did as well. And, and that was just by making four legacy systems, yeah. getting to one and having a much faster yeah. experience on that. So a lot of migrations, a lot of cloud native refactoring going on in the applications, sounds like? Yes, we, what we do is, Whatever legacy systems you have, we manage to ensure that we connect them all and to have a, an, a, a, a front line so that you can access the information real time and that you can, as a user, and that you can really uh, have a better experience. Whatever you do today, whatever company, telco company you have, bank you use, I can guarantee you have, you have used Pega. You just don't know about it. <laughs> it's under the covers. I got to ask you my final question. I see you guys uh, really doing some good business out here. What if people watching here are trying to understand the dynamics of public sector market? What, what's your take? What's your what, are you, what, are, what would you say to that person? What's the big story happening in public sector? Well, 
to begin with, I'm not a public sector expert, so I'm sure that there's a lot of public sector experts out there that can tell me, oh no, you missed this point. But what I have seen in these days that I have been here with the team is that the government needs to act fast in order to digitalize all these projects. So one of our partners yesterday was telling me that there is a mandate in, in the army, for example, to move everything to cloud. How do you do it? Yeah. They don't even know. They are, they, are, they are people that they don't, they don't know how to do this. So our partners are building solutions to yeah. help them faster get into the cloud because they have to do it by the end of the year. Uh, and these are the key things that we are working on with partners to build solutions that can really, yeah. they can access fast. It's a robust ecosystem. And they can scale. It's yes. a very robust ecosystem. Yes. So Amazon has an ecosystem, you guys, and you have an ecosystem. It's an ecosystem of ecosystems, and that is what works, right? Because Amazon has very good sellers, for example, very good people that know the clients, and they have a lot of experience, but they are not specialized in what Pega That's does. That's where the channel comes These in. other partners are, have a Pega practice, yeah. they are experts, and as I told you, this is about crushing complexity, so it's making, you need to understand the technology and the details behind it to make the best solution to the client. Carol, great to have you on, very dynamic, love, love chatting with you. Carola Casanegbe? Casanave, yes. Casanave, Chief of Channels at Pega Systems, also known as Pega, great to have you on. Congratulations Thank on your you. success. Ecosystems within an ecosystem, crushing complexity. This is theCUBE, bringing you all the signal out there from the noise. I'm John Furrier, thanks for watching.